Hey everybody, this is Matt from Gun For Hire and I'm in the gun store. I thought this was uh, much better than the uh, our Platinum VIP room. So um, I got my amendment, how cool is that? So I wanted to talk to you guys about um, the process and what I went through and hopefully that'll help out and give you guys some guidance. Um, I'm in Morris County and I understand Passaic is doing the same in a couple other counties um, and basically uh, you'll be able to also download uh, on our website some of the materials that you're going to need just to help you guys out. Um, I started off by calling uh, the my local PD and they said basically they didn't know. So I called the Morris County Courts and uh, the clerk was not sure I was the first one making the amendment. So after speaking with the judge, they thought the best thing was just to write a letter. So the letter is kind of based like a, Your Honor, uh, this is my carry permit number, and I'd like to add uh, some additional firearms to my carry permit. Make, model, serial number, respectfully yours. Please see enclosed score sheets. So you're gonna have to come to Gun For Hire, take the um, PTC course and shoot the 50 rounds to show that you're qualified to carry that gun. Um, so I added two additional guns and basically shot the course and I included those with uh, my letter and I mailed mailed that in and the next step was I got a call after a week and I figured this was going to happen and they asked for proof of ownership um, so what I did was I was able to email them over which is pretty cool the proof of ownership for the two firearms um, after that, approximately two weeks after that, um, I got a call from the clerk and he said, do you want to pick it up? It's ready. Or do you want me to mail it out? So they mailed it out and it came in about two days. So it was a pretty easy process. I mean, it was really nice. So basically I get a letter from New Jersey courts. So what did I receive? And it basically says, hey, Matt, attach, please find an amendment order for your permit number, blah, blah, blah. Any questions, please let me know. Um, the other thing was a, a piece of paper showing that I did file and the date specific uh, for the amended order. And basically it says that I'm uh, familiar with safe handling of handguns as required by the NJAC. So this is just a document to keep. I don't have to carry this. The next document, there's four paragraphs on here. So um, it says that I'm granted uh, to carry handguns in New Jersey. The next uh, paragraph is about, it shall only apply to these specific handguns. So again, these carry permits are not good for every gun you own. Um, it is specific to the serial number. So it lists those serial numbers. Um, it's ordered that um, I may amend this permit to include additional handguns by notifying the court in writing. So you could, um, I could keep adding. So that's gonna be fun. So it's thoroughly, and, it, and I basically uh, have to send in a number of additional handguns and demonstrating the court that me is thoroughly familiar with the safe handling and use of the additional handguns. So I'm gonna, any new additional guns I wanna add, it's the same thing. You come in, you show your qualification scores of passing, you get your proof of ownership, you get the letter and you send that in and you should be good to go. This is again, Morris County. I have some information for other counties. The last paragraph, um, it says that the permit, this is important, it's invalid at any place where by operation of law, the carrying of firearms either is or shall be prohibited. So again, post office, government buildings, things like that. Um, and that's that. So the funny thing is, you know, now I have my carry permit and I had my original court order with the guns and now I have my new court order. So I'm just gonna, I, I need a new wallet. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta carry all this, but it's not, a, you know what I, what I truly believe is that in a year or so, all this is gonna be online. We won't have to carry all of this stuff. But my, uh, my son Donovan let me uh, have a wallet that he wasn't using, Superhero. I thought that was kind of cool. So that is what's going on with that. Now, here's the thing. With some other counties, um, I have feedback from a few other counties. And 
the their local PD asked them, no, you're gonna work with us. So for that specific county, um, the local PD is handling everything. The court's not gonna get involved. And another county is requesting that you redo the entire application, which I think they're saying because they're just not sure of how everything's progressing. Um, so again, just like when you're beginning the carry process, it's very specific to your local PD and your county. So before you begin, give them a call. Hey, how do I do this? I wanna make an amendment. I got my carry, I have three other guns and get your paperwork together. You're definitely gonna need proof of ownership. You're definitely gonna need your qualification scores. Here's the thing, if your carry permit, my carry permit here with my photo says see court order. So I have a separate piece of paper that have my serial numbers and everything. If your carry permit has your serial numbers listed on it, they're gonna issue you a new carry permit with the additional guns on there, which means you're gonna need photos. So just keep that in mind. If you're making an amendment to your carry permit and yours is listed, send them another set of photos just in case. Uh, they're definitely gonna need that. Um, so now I'm just trying to figure out what, what I'm gonna carry next. So, you know, let me show you some cool stuff that we just got into the store. So again, this one is, this is my go-to and this is my CR 920 by Shadow Systems. I love this gun, an amazing gun. And here's some information, uh, just in case some people are not familiar. As you know, hollow points on the state police site, uh, you could own them, but you can't carry them. So basically an equivalent to the hollow point um, is critical defense ammo um, and it includes a polymer tip. So we have critical defense and critical duty uh, ammo and come on in, we have several different calibers available. I also have my uh, Glock 19 with the L2D slide and barrel and then I have also the uh, MR920 uh, by Shadow Systems, love these guns. So new in the store, these are really cool. So these are the 43s, 43X Glocks. Look at that camo, how cool is that? Listen, I'm an art guy. I, I think these things are awesome. So we got the camo. We also have, how great is that? That's pretty neat. Those are gun for higher colors. And then they have a Tiffany one. I mean, in the past we had a Tiffany Glock and I was just like, you know what, that's just, way too blue and it's too Tiffany, but this one is just really awesome looking. It's like a a blue steel color. This thing's awesome, I like that a lot. And then on the high end, these things are amazing. You have to come in and hold this, this gun. Are you guys familiar with this one? This is the Zev, this is stock. Just an amazing, an amazing gun. So this one's on the higher end of the spectrum, but uh, awesome, amazing guns. Listen, and I also mentioned in my previous video about a bag that I was kind of testing and feeling out, and I do have it here. So let me kind of show you. We have a few of these for sale at the range. So, I like something sleek and just slim. I like the big, big bulky. This is just uh, a great carry bag. So at the top, which is nice, you have a small pocket at the top. And for a quick grab, I just put this toggle on here and it's easy. And then when wearing, there's also a side here, easy access right here. And for me, it, it works very well. Uh, laptop and then just another compartment for ammo any padded guns anything you want um but this is a this is a great a great bag it's called nomadic um and again we have this one and we have some large a larger one also available as well as several several other bags we have a lot to choose from so come on in we'd love to see you we have plenty of rifles, shotguns, plenty of carry guns. Um, and just to touch on, 
you know, I've been giving a lot of information regarding what's required. And just to touch on that again, you know, I'm giving you what's required because I'm not going to be hypocritical. And like the government adds all of these additional things to us law abiding gun owners. So I'm not doing that. You know, at Gun For Hire, we don't do that. We say this is what's required to get your carry. But at the same time, here's what's critical to carry. Use of force, we have a great use of force. It's a three hour course where you get to talk with our instructors and ask the important questions where you can't get that with an online video. You know, these guys have decades of years of experience and if you're gonna carry, you gotta be serious about your education. Um, and a lot of people are affected around you when you carry. So use of force, holster draw, even the basics of pistol, uh, Urban Pistol One. We have several courses online. Please make sure we'll put that below uh, to get you guys started. Any questions, uh, please put them below. And we'll keep making videos on um, this carry process as it changes. And again, I know they're working on an online system. And we will, uh, we look forward to having you guys at Gun For Hire. Be safe, support those that support you. Look forward to seeing you.